So I'm going to talk about this painting called Arbutus. And this was a commission painting. And so I'm going to run through how I do commissions currently and why this one was fairly unique and some of the techniques I used, inspiration, color harmony, and also making sure that your focal point is accurate. So with Arbutus being a, a commission work, the, the client actually uh, loved this tree. And we live in the Pacific Northwest and on the coast of Washington, there's a large, large amount of these trees which are very abstract in nature. Uh, their bark is very interesting. It peels away and it shows this kind of army green uh, chartreuse uh, trunk of the tree. And the leaves are unique in the fact that they have uh, a double set, two sets of leaves and a bloom in the middle. So uh, when I got this commission, uh, they asked me to just be free and, you know, do what I like. Pretty much they like what I've been doing in the past. So they kind of said, you know, we trust you. We just want this tree in it. You can go abstract, you can do whatever. So I did a combination, which is basically my style that I'm leaning towards lately. So this one incorporates both uh, acrylic pour backgrounds, in, which I am consistently doing, as well as oil details. So with the commission, uh, sometimes it's very particular what they want, particular style, uh, particular colors. This one, they said, we just love color, we trust you, so I had free reign on that. What they did give me, which was helpful, uh, besides the tree, was the fact that they gave me their wall color. And so I was able to look that up online and get a sense of what color that is, and it was a warm, warm light, warm yellow. So I knew that that would dictate uh, a warmer color palette, and also a color palette that's a complementary color palette to yellow. So that's why you see more um, purples and periwinkle colors, um, as well as the chartreuse and some teal that kind of goes throughout the water of the painting. And then that yellow, particular yellow of their wall, I put uh, sparingly uh, in the sky and also kind of in the highlights of the tree. It's a warm yellow. Um, and also there's some gold in here, some gold uh, oil paint that reflects light and, as you move around the painting, which also is kind of a, a common thing in what I do. So if you look at this painting, I laid the, for, or laid the background, the sky in particular. I didn't do a, a sunset sky because the tree itself is really, you know, flamboyant. So. <laughs> Uh, I wanted it to kind of blend in the background, not play a major role. So I kind of, instead of a sunset, I did almost a sunrise look to uh, the sky. So that it has the warm yellows and it's just kind of soft in the background. And then um, because these trees are found on the ocean and the, the clients who commissioned live on the ocean, I decided to do an ocean coastline and these, they live on the San Juan Islands, and so there's all these different small islands here in Washington State um, on the coast. They're all very beautiful, and they have tons of trees, and they're just gorgeous. And so I put, you know, a few islands on the side here to kind of balance the tree being on this side. And then with the ocean, it's all these different colors of teals and greens and and um, just just kind of slight yellow leaning to those uh, blues so it plays well with the yellow sky and then it goes darker as you get closer to the foreground. So that's all poor technique and I was able to torch and torch it and make it look frothy with the waves so it has a lot of movement. Um, and then here it's almost a river, uh, a brook that these trees like to hang around. And so that too has um, a lot of movement in it, a lot of detail work uh, just from the pour. So it made it easier that way, but I do do a little bit more oil details on top of that just to bring out a little more waves. As, they, as I added rocks, I needed to add waves to that. So um, with the tree, uh, you see there's a, since it's so close to you, if you're standing in this painting, the tree would be the first thing closest to you. Um, so that 
tree has the most detail, the most focus, the most uh, um, texture on it. So that's where I wanted your eye to go. Um, so this leaf here actually is, is really three dimensional because I used acrylic medium. And so it's like curling off the canvas. Um, they're all overlapping each other like leaves do uh, using texture. And I actually, the veining, I, I indented the medium. So it's like they're, they're actually look 3D. Uh, so that was fun to do. And then the bark too of, of the tree peels away. So I had to add texture on there and give the kind of feel of it peeling away. Um, and then highlight that, that chartreuse, that army green that really goes well with that yellow again. That's their wall. So uh, down here in the, in the foreground um, where you would be standing too, it, they require a little more detail because in real life that's, you would see detail, but I didn't want to have a ton of detail down there because again, I wanted the focus to be on the tree. So I just uh, implied detail uh, with, some, um, with some twigs and some grasses um, some detail there. Uh, I really just focused, to, focused on complementary colors to the yellow and the chartreuse down here so you see more purples and blues and teals. Um, and even kind of a red, reddish color um, down here. So they all work together. It looks like the, the shadows um, are falling, falling on, the, on the leaves here so they're shadowed and so they're darker. And so again the light is focused on the tree. And also, I mean, the, the plants themselves are found on the coast with the tree. Uh, they belong together, so there's hostas and ferns here. And so they, the, the leaves themselves, they, they just kind of complement the tree leaves. And also I added a little frog uh, because the person I know very well who uh, commissioned this painting, uh, she, she loves frogs and I knew that, so I added a little frog, which isn't weird because you know, we have lots of frogs around here on the coast. And so he belongs there anyway. And he's kind of a fun little guy that you don't really see unless you're looking really close. Um, you'll see the frog there. And so um, all in all, the painting was um, very personal um, because commissions are usually personal. Uh, they, they incorporate details, whether it's just the one detail they want, like the tree, or many details like they want control of like color and composition and, and many details. So that affects the price of the painting, um, the size they want. They didn't care about size, so I chose this size because I love vertical paintings. I think they're, I just, I'm drawn to vertical, so that's what I did. Um, but uh, those type of things affect a price. So if you ever want to commission a painting, just think about that. Uh, the more detail that you put in a painting, the more time it takes for the artist to, to do it. And so that does affect, bring up the price because you gotta, you gotta make a living, you gotta <laughs> pay yourself too. So just keep that in mind when you get a quote from an artist. Don't be shocked because really in all likelihood they're holding back what actually the, amount, the price is. Um, they really love doing the art and so they're kind of willing to do it for whatever but along the road you do have to start asking for what you're worth uh, your time wise so um, this one um, is a lot of detail uh, but you know you can do simpler versions too so the prints will be available um, on my commissions I do offer prints um, after I get it to uh, the buyer uh, prints are available in various sizes. So like a painting this size can go bigger, um, which would be really dramatic in like end of a hallway with some lighting on it. Uh, that would be fabulous. Or above a table, um, if you have tall ceilings, high ceilings, um, you can get away with a, a taller painting. Um, so you have to think about the space it's going in as well and also there's smaller sizes too so if you don't have a lot of space but you love the composition of the painting you can get a smaller size in a print and usually I do prints in uh, canvas prints high quality canvas prints and I'm going to do a video of one of the paintings I sold I haven't wasn't able to do a video like this on that one but I just have prints available I have an actual print that I can show so you'll see that later 
um, in a painting that's called The Ridge. So you can look for that video if you want to see what a print would look like of a painting that's just this, just as detailed as this. So I hope you enjoy Arbutus and I hope, actually I know the clients love it because I sent them pictures and so I keep, I keep you updated if you do a commission. I try to take pictures throughout and make sure I'm going in the right direction. I learned the hard way um, to do that. Uh, sometimes I ha think, oh, yeah, I know what you want, and in reality, I don't. So I need to keep you updated, and you need to be honest um, when I give you updates if I'm going the right direction. So just keep that in mind if you ever do a commission.